Hey lovelies, it's new pen day. Yay! I love it when I get a new pen. Um, this one is coming from Goulet. Goulet is one of the first fountain pen companies, or fountain pen, um, yeah, sellers that I ever purchased from online. Obviously, I've purchased from shops and stores in person, but back when I was really starting to get into fountain pens, they were the first online fountain pen store that I ever bought from. They always send you a little Tootsie Roll pop in the in their packaging. Um, I always keep this because there's it, it comes in handy in my journal. <laughs> and I use it for junk journals and all sorts of stuff. Um, let's see what all the goodies are in here. Okay. I love it when I forget what I ordered and then I get the order and I'm like, ooh, Christmas. It's like a little surprise <laughs> because I've forgotten exactly what I ordered. So, they always send a little card to let you know that your package, they packed your order with a slightly ridiculous amount of care to make sure that the writing products you love would arrive safely. And then it's always signed by whoever the person was. So, Eric, thank you for packing my order with slightly ridiculous amounts of care. There's always some little sticker, which, ooh, love that. Love, love, love. I'm going to do something with that. I usually put them like on my journal. Okay, so we got some ink samples. I love to buy ink samples because you, you're not committing to too much. Um, you are getting just a little bit to try. And then if you like it, you can go and buy the bigger version. So this allows me to get, you know, X number of colors with um for, for like half the price of what one regular bottle. And if you're like me and you like to try out a lot of different colors or you like to switch your pens colors out, your inks out um, often, then having a big bottle isn't always necessary. Now there are some colors that I have big bottles of like my document inks, my waterproof inks, um, some of my shimmers that I'm just in love with, I have bigger, bigger versions of those. But for the most part, I like, I have a lot of ink samples. I like to try out a lot of ink samples. In fact, I think I'll share a little video of my inks um, coming here soon. Here are some of my little ink samples. Keep them in this little thing. And then I have two, three more of the, um, they look like what you would find in a science lab. Um, but you put the little vials of, of inks in there. So I have, I am a huge advocate for the ink samples. So I've got lots of colors here. I'll swatch these out um, another time. Today we're just here. I'm just sharing with you my new, my new and latest Twisby Eco. Um, as many of you know and have seen and heard me talk about, if you're watching Fountain Pen Friday over on my YouTube channel, you've heard me show and talk about and share my Twisby Ecos. Um, let's just find the other. Because the Twisby Ecos are such a beautiful and easy pen to work with, especially if you are, it's like, I would consider this a beginner to inter intermediate pen because it is, you know, requires a little bit of care in that, um, you know, it's a piston fill, piston filling pen. So it doesn't have a cartridge or a converter the ink lives inside the body of the pen. And so I love the Twisby Eco for that. They are beautiful collectibles because they have, um, well, hello, because they make new colors, special colors, special editions, limited editions. And this one I can't open. Oh, oh yeah, well, there's tape on the side. That would, that would explain it. This is the newest, latest, and greatest of the Twisby Eco family. This is this 
this is the twisty gray. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. I love it, love it. Don't clean it with alcohol, it tells you. All the Twisbees, I won't go into too much detail because I did a little bit of a video in my Fountain Pen Friday on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Um, but the Twisbee comes with a little bit of silicone grease and this little Twisbee wrench that helps you um, tighten things that might need to be tightened. Comes with a instruction manual, how to fill the pen. And then all of this, all of this comes out and you can use this as a, you know, you could use this as a pin case if you wanted to do that. So, let's put all of that away. And let's look at our new, ah, I love the color. So good. So, so good. Mm, beautiful. Now, I opted for, I'm pretty sure this is a broad nib. Let's just uh, verify that. Um, Twisby Eco Broad. Yep. So, a nice thick line, which I love. So, how do they feel? Now, I'm pretty sure that I bought some, I got some ink here. I think solstice is what I wanted to put in this one. The diamine solstice ink, I think is the one I wanted to, to use for this. So I'll speed through this part and I'll see you back on the other side. All right, lovely. So I've got three bottles of the solstice diamine Sol solstice inks and because Piston fill, you know, needs a, a good bit of ink. I'm just going to go ahead and combine the three so that I have enough to actually draw up into my pen. And so the way the Twisby fills, and there are tons of videos on uh, YouTube about this, but I'll just say really quickly. So this little bit here, the, the end, twists, and you pull it all the way to the top. You stick your pin in, and you come back the other way. And I like to go up and down a couple of times just to get the air out. Got a good bit of air in the in the chamber, but I'm just gonna work with it today and allow that to be okay. Pretty excited about this color. What I like to do is just kind of tap, and that kind of fills that. And then I bring my paper over. Yep, perfect. This is also what I love about Twisby. Like instantly, they just work. They just write. And of course, I spilled a little bit of my ink, so let me just take care of that. It's such a beautiful color. Ah. Oh. So beautiful. All right, I'll deal with that later. All right, I'm gonna bring over my let's see, we are in volume three. So bring that out. And this is a little ink journal fountain pen ink journal that I've had for some time I got it from my friend Chanel who is engine cutie on Instagram I'll link to her 
Now you can post a Twisby, um, and oftentimes I do. So I'll go ahead. So the pen is the Twisby. Oh, I love, look how much ink that lays down. Oh my gosh, love it. Twisby Eco in gray. Wow, that is a lot of ink, y'all. I love that. This is a broad nib. No cleaning date yet. The brand is Diamine. And the color is Solstice. And the date is August 23rd. That is so much ink, y'all. Seriously, I like I'm loving how much ink it's laying down. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and as the ink dries, I'll be able to start kind of seeing some of the shimmer and the color shift in this ink. That is the Twisby Eco with Diamine Solstice. Oh my gosh. If you are a Twisby Eco fan, I would love to hear about your Twisby Ecos and um, what colors you have, what color you're wanting. Um, I wish they would make a really beautiful burgundy. Um, not, I don't have any of the translucent Ecos. I'm not, they don't, I'm not feeling called to them, but the, um, the ones that are just matte finish, opaque, I love them. And I wish they would make like a deep burgundy and a deep purple. Oh, I would love that so, so much. All right, my friends. These are, this is our my newest Twisby Eco. In love. Can't wait um, to write with it more. Thank y'all for watching. See you soon. Bye.